Hello everyone, welcome to Joyroot. Today we are going to check it out what is Microsoft 365. An overview of Microsoft 365 and its core components. Before you, there is a definition of Microsoft 3. What is Microsoft 365? We first we will understand the concept of Microsoft 365 with a, with a scenario. And after understanding the concept with the scenario, we will come back to this theoretical part. So I'm keeping this part here and we are moving to the concept of Microsoft 365. Let us consider a scenario, an on-premise scenario. We have an organization with 300 users. All the IT equipments are based on on-premise, not in the cloud. We are in the on-premise. We have 300 users. Obviously, for all these 300 users, we require 300 accounts. To manage the accounts and in a centralized way, we require an Active Directory. So, an Active Directory server is required. We require uh, for the communication, we require Exchange Server. For the mailbox communication, we require Exchange Server. So, we have created an Exchange Server in the on-premise. For the safety purpose, we have to take the backup of these uh, 300 uses, uh, mailboxes, whenever if any case we store that so a backup server is required in the on-premise scenario and 300 uses required a laptop normal office application we required uh, the uh, ms office to be installed on all these uh, so all these laptops so we required 300 ms office license if the users want a drive for to share their data to save their data we required a file share server and for the communication purpose, to conduct the meetings, to for the communication, we required Skype server. And little more advanced way, we required a SharePoint server. And many other application and servers is required in the on-premise to manage all the IT needs in the organization. To fulfill all the uh, IT needs in the on-premise, the if you consider the cost, see, it is huge. For the hardware, we have to purchase the hardware for all the servers for the Active Directory and uh, Exchange mailbox. We require servers and we have to maintain a data center. We require an operational cost are for the engineers and the operational cost are included uh, for the IT. Then AC for the cooling system is required on the data center. Electricity bill, license cost, all are part of uh, IT bill, IT expenses. Then if we go to the maintenance, Again, the um, server may goes down. Any of the network device may goes down. It can be planned or unplanned. The maintenance is required. So the cost is again, uh, you, are, you have to spend uh, amount for that. And the other concern is security. For the security purpose, again, you'll have to spend so much amount on security because nowadays, after especially after COVID, uh, bring your own device, work from anywhere. Those concepts are very common in the market. So when you are connecting to your organization's application from the remote location through internet, security is a main factor. So security is one of the main concern on the on-premise environment. If you are using three, four devices, that device readiness also is a concern. All these are the concerns of our on-premise infrastructure. Now let us check out the Microsoft 365 scenario. The only thing you will have to create a tenant and subscribe any of the Microsoft 365 plan according to your organization requirement. So once you subscribe the Microsoft 365 plan, rest everything will be taken care by Microsoft itself. We'll just type Microsoft Microsoft 365 business plans. Spelling is fine. We'll just and uh, the first link we will click on the first link here you can see the different plans that offered by microsoft they have um, business basic business and uh, microsoft 365 business standard microsoft 365 business premium and microsoft 365 apps for business so once if you purchase uh, microsoft 365 business for standard it is uh, $12.50 per user and you get all these applications with this plan. In the same way, they have a Microsoft 365 Business Premium and they have, uh, we will be receiving all the desktop and mobile app, secure cloud services and all these they offer with this plan. 
we purchase a subscription, you get all these application along with this. So you do not have to maintain a data center. O operation cost, you can reduce it. Security, again, it's not your concern. It's, it's Microsoft concern. It's their headache to, to, be the, uh, to be secure. And maintenance, again, it's not your headache. It's Microsoft headache to, uh, for the maintenance of this infrastructure. You are getting all the software and application as a service. You just pay for user cost per month. As it's shown here, $12 per user, $12.50 per user. You don't have to worry about the infrastructure, about the maintenance, about the patches, updates, and, and all other stuff you do not have to worry about. So as we have seen here in the uh, cost wise, if you, if you check it out, hardware cost, you do not have to worry about. Data center maintenance, you do not have to worry about. Engineer and operation cost, you can reduce it. AC maintenance, cooling system maintenance, electricity bill, license cost, all these you can eliminate it. And maintenance, security, all these you can eliminate it. The only thing you have to pay for what you use. So this is what Microsoft 365 means. Now we'll go back to the definition and we'll understand what exactly Microsoft 365 is. So let us get into that. Yeah, here we have the definition. What is Microsoft 365? Microsoft 365 is a product family of productivity software, collaboration software, and cloud-based service owned by, by Microsoft. This is one definition. And the other definition is that Microsoft 365 is a subscription service that bundles together a variety of products, sorry, variety of productivity and collaboration tools, services, and applications. So what are these productivity tools? What are these collaboration tools? What is the services and applications? We will check it out. I have given all this in this particular table. And please understand these are, I have mentioned only few services. Again, they have got N number of services as uh, part of Microsoft 365. It depends upon the plan you selected, the license you have, the subscription you have, to, you have selected it. According to that, uh, all the application and services will vary it. So uh, the main application you can uh, segregate it like office application, communication tools, collaboration tools, security and management tools, and and business intelligence tools. So office application again you know Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, Publisher, and web-based version of office applications. So all these you get it with Microsoft 365. And uh, if you have an E3 or E5 license, you get Word Excel to be installed on five devices, actually. Okay, let's move to the ne next one, which is communication tools. Again, Microsoft Teams for the instant messaging, video conferencing, file sharing. You can use Microsoft Teams. Exchange Online for provide email and calendaring services. Yammer for the enterprise social network. So communication tools, these three are the communication tools. And as I told you, I'm, give, I'm not giving the complete services. They have got n number of other services uh, as a part of Microsoft 365. It again depends upon the subscription you have purchased it. The plan you have purchased it. The subscription you have. Collaboration tools is nothing but uh, you have SharePoint, OneDrive. They provide 1 TB, 2 TB uh, data for single user. You can save uh, up to 2 TB for a single uh, employee, for a single end user. Security and management, again, Azure Active Directory. And nowadays, it's called that NRID. Then Microsoft Intune, Endpoint Manager, Defender for Endpoint, Security Compliance Center, Azure Information Protection. All these security management tools are part of Microsoft 365. Then business intelligence tools like Power BI, Dynamic 365. All these stuffs are available with Microsoft 365 package. So it's, it is not just a software suit. It's a software suit, but it is not just a software suit. It's an evolving ecosystem designed to help individual and organization be more productive and achieve the goals. In, in a simple way, whatever IT related needs you have, Microsoft 365 and Microsoft will fulfill all that. So that's all about the Microsoft 365. We'll meet you in another video. Goodbye.